Singapore, in the south of Malaya. Population approximately 550,000. University, shipbuilding, important seaport. Doesn't it say anything about the 32 nightclubs there? Have you already worked down in Singapore? Not to work. However, I once had a friend, an oil sheik. He took me with him down there. He was quite a guy. Those are the guys that run around in turbans, aren't they? <laughs> Listen, honey, when they take those turbans off, they're just like any other man. Got a light. Uh. Looking forward to going to Singapore? Mm, I don't really care where I dance, as long as the pay is good. <laughs> That's him now. Hi. Hi. I've already been to Singapore. And you look like it. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hello, Gary. Hi, Georgie. You're looking prettier every day. How in the world are you doing? Mike. Yeah? Have you told the girls what this is all about? Sure, Gary. A tour for a dancing troupe. First engagement, Singapore. I have 12 of them here to pick from. Okay, Georgia. Let the girls in. We don't have much time. All right, if we start now, Mr. Blackwood. Of course. Oh, but one at a time, please. Okay. May? Smile, will you? How do you do? That's Mr. Webster, the manager. And uh, this is May. She's the finest dancer in town. What was your last engagement? With the Coquettes, one year. Ah, uh, one of the finest. Hmm, legs? Pardon me? Mr. Webster would like to look at your legs. Oh, sure. Thank you, you're hired. Please wait outside. Oh, thank you. Hmm, May, Coquettes. And this is Rhonda Hunter. Dancer? Not really. But I picked things up real fast. Hmm. Thank you. We're looking for dancers. But what's that got to do with Singapore? Come on, come on honey. Don't hold us up. Babs? This is Babs. Her legs are worth their weight in gold. Can those golden legs also dance? I was solo dancer in the Apollo Varieties. And why did you leave there? Oh, the boss really went for her, but his wife thought otherwise. All right, you can work with us, as long as you don't have any affairs. Mr. Webster doesn't tolerate any fooling around. I had all the boys I can take. Come on. Carolyn. This little one's from the National Ballet. Could you dance a little bit for us? Glad to. Would you put this one on for me? Sure. Let's have a look. wonderfully. But I'm afraid ballet is not what we're looking for. Don't be sad, honey. I tell you what, uh, come in again tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah, I've got something else for you. Oh, thanks. All right. Thanks. Here are Gladys and Doreen. I told you to let them in separately. These babes have been working from the start as a duo number. And we would very much like to stay together, if possible. On this tour, you'll be dancing with other girls. That doesn't matter, as long as we get to go overseas. All right, you can both work with us. Please send the next one in. Yeah. Thank you. See you. 
Linda. Hello there. Hmm. You're a stripper? At times. Didn't I see you work the Sapphire Club last month? How observant of you. How come you quit that place? The boss wanted to. I didn't. Oh, are you always so picky unish? That depends on the boss. Boss, shall I dance for you? It's not necessary. You're hired. Wait outside. Okay. The next girl, please. My name is Nellie Hastings. A new one. I haven't seen her work yet, but she's always been with good troops. Let's see her dance. Wait outside. So, Mr. Blackwood has supplied all the girls we need. Fine, Georgia. Uh, go and tell the girls when costume and dance rehearsals will start. Will you please? Okay. All right. Listen, Gary, I thought you were the boss. That you let Georgia select all the girls. I select all the girls. You? But you didn't say a word. Why should I? I have a little trick. When I keep my legs apart like so, it means I'm not interested. When I cross them like this, ah, then it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you always were a crazy guy. When do things get underway? Oh, ten days. Ten days? Well, then, have a good trip. Thank you. over the Pacific Ocean near Honolulu. Altitude is 15,000 feet. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Clipper 247, Clipper 247. We are 9,000 feet losing altitude. Number two engine burning. Drop feather, attempting emergency landing. Present position, it's... Repeat your position. Repeat your position. Damn, I can't pick him up anymore. Clipper 247. No, Mr. Hastings, I can only repeat. There's absolutely no reason yet to fear the worst. Until now, we only know that the plane caught fire and that we've lost radio contact. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know immediately, as soon as I hear something new. Blackwood Agency. No, Mr. Alberts, I don't have any further information. But of course there's a search party out there. I tell you, rescuers are looking all over for them. There's still hope, even after four days. 
Yes? I'll call you as soon as I hear something new. Stop that falling. You're driving us all nuts. What? Just one swallow. No more today. Tomorrow you'll get another ration. Gary? Give me some water. What? Who do you think you are? The fifth night. We can't hold out much longer. You're starting that too, Georgia? A ship has to go by here sometime. Or we've got to at least see some land. Water. Please give me water. Look, a bird! Oh, oh, Where there are birds, there must be land. Are you crazy? Give that to me. <coughs> Look at there, Gary. Over there. Land. There's land. Help me paddle. We've got to make it. Paddle with your hands. Don't stop now. We'll make it. It's not far now. Then we'll be safe. <laughs> There you are, Georgia. Lie down. Yeah. I can't go anymore. Here.
charge you, darling. someone on this island. Really? A hammer with a long handle. It must be for the purpose of excavating some sort of metal. Most probably uranium. Can you eat that yet? <laughs> yeah, you can try it. Come on, let's go and find out. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, be nice. Come on, hurry up. Look. Come here. Look, a cabin.
poor professor when he made the last entry in the diary. He didn't know how horribly he would die. Well, his discovery of the uranium deposits didn't help him any, even if it does represent a tremendous fortune. We must keep it from the girls that Professor Green had a premonition of his fate. You see here, in the last paragraph, he says he thought something terrible was going to happen. He just felt the danger. I wonder where that peculiar hissing came from that he always heard. Oh, Gary, I'm terribly scared. I'm so afraid. Don't worry, Georgia. As long as I'm around, nothing will happen to you. I promise. Hi, Georgia. I'm hungry. I've made something for you to eat. Lucky there were some canned goods here. Mmm, food. It must have been a really gigantic spider to be able to spin such a huge web. Maybe there are more of them. <gasps> we found the professor's trunk full of stuff. They'll certainly be useful. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. If we divide the provisions up carefully, they should last for a month. What did you say, Georgia? A month? Do you really think we'll be here a whole month? I don't know. We have to go tomorrow to the highest cliff and light a smoke signal to try and attract a ship. 10, 11, 12. Give me that shirt. No, it belongs to me. After all, I found it. But my dress is in worse shape than yours. No, I want to have it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it me. Give it to me. Hey. Give it. Stop that fighting. Give me that shirt. <clears throat> Georgia? Thanks, Gary. I suppose we could have guessed that Georgia would be getting it. Haven't you ever noticed that Gary pampers her? What's this? Where did you get the pullover? I found it here, if you don't have anything against her. Huh. Now stop it, or I'll take care of both of you. Give me something to drink, Douglas. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, Gary. We're all a little nervous. It's really no wonder. Uh, don't you think I'd rather be in a bar in Singapore with a nice cold drink than to be on this godforsaken place? <laughs> uh, drinking this horrible stuff? Uh. <laughs> Darned heat. Look out, will you? Stop making so much noise. If you don't like it, you can do the dishes. Or do you think I'm doing this for my own pleasure? Stop blowing your top and dry up, will you? I simply can't stand this frightful heat any longer. How about throwing your dirty blouse someplace else? I want to sleep. I sure hope you don't lose your lipstick. You'd hardly be able to get along on this island without it. I'm through. It's about time. Now I'll shower. Give it here. Come on. Come on, girls. Let's go to sleep. I'm going to sleep outside. Night. Me too. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night Kate. Professor's revolver. Get some sleep, Gary. I can't. I think I'll go out for a little walk. But don't worry. I'll be back very shortly.
Gary. doing anymore. everything as it is. We must find Gary. Babs and Ann, you go in that direction. Where in the world is Kate? Here, Georgia. You two go in that direction. Kate and May will go along with me. Hurry up. What about me? You, you remain here and put things in order while we're gone. Would you quit that whistling? You're making me nervous. I'm not afraid when I whistle. Mm -hmm. Gary! 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 Come on, we gotta keep looking. Without me, I'm staying right here. Did you hear anything? No. But there's something moving there. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Gary! Hey, Gladys! Don't leave me alone. Then hurry up. Gary! Gary!
I walk for her. She's been strangled. The spider. <laughs> Anne. Anne. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, Georgia, the professor's been killed. Gary's disappeared, and now we've just buried Linda. Which one of us is going to be next? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to Anne. die. Anne. Now stop it, will you? Stop it before you drive us all crazy. Not me. Stop not it. me. And I tell you, they'll never find us. Never. But I'm sure the police are moving heaven and hell to find us, honey. The police? The cops I know. If they catch you speeding a little bit or find you drunk, they send you right off to the cooler. But you just let somebody get lost and they won't lift a finger. Do you believe that they'll go running around for a few broads who are lost? But how are they to know huh? that we've been rescued and on this little island? Rescued? Who's been rescued? We, perhaps? Show me the island. Show me where does it lie in the ocean. Show it to me. By the time they find us, we'll all be dead. You, you and you, one after the other. Back. Get a hold of yourself. You're only getting all the girls worked up. Well, if it isn't Miss Georgia, of all people, it has to be you. Who has Gary and Linda on her conscience? Who? Babs, do you know what you're saying? Exactly. Through your jealousy. You should never have left Linda alone in the cabin. Shut up, will you? What can Georgia do about Linda's death? Take your hands off me, or I'll break your arm. Just you try that, baby. Take that. Oh. ship sails right by us. Our rescue so close. And May. Oh, Georgia, a ship. There, a ship. Oh, it's gone. How terrible. And we only have enough food left for three days. Anne, Anne. Come on back. Come on.
You go ahead and start unloading. I'll take the oars up. Okay, Bob. What are you carrying the oars so far away for? Afraid the mermaid will steal our boat? Uh, don't talk to me about women on this godforsaken island. Should have taken one along as part of your ration. I wanted to, but it wasn't approved. Tough. Hey, come on over here and give me a hand, will you? Okay, I'm coming. Take it easy. Easy now. Easy now. Boy, that junk is heavy. Oh. Bob, you know, I'm sort of glad the professor picked us out to help him with his work, even though it's lonely over here. Give me some whiskey. <clears throat> there aren't any chicks, then at least some whiskey. You only think about whiskey and women. <laughs> you better change or you'll never get any place. Get off my back. I'm sick of your preaching. Pick the professor, for example. Uh, that guy's always been lucky. Well, we explore all sorts of islands for six months. He comes with us once and finds the stuff. And of all places on this miserable oh, island. Now. Stop grumbling, will you? Uh, <laughs> go on. I'll go and look for the professor now. Okay. Get on out of here, will you? In the meantime, I'll unload. And uh, have fun. Yeah, sure. Georgia, let's go. I'm so afraid. Perhaps there are more spiders around. Come and sit with me. What do you want from me? Well, 
give you three guesses. I was going to ask you for the time. shot with the professor's own revolver. And Gary's bracelet was laying there beside it. What's that noise? Coincidence. That's where I wanted to go. I said get going. Mm. All righty. I think he's handsome. He doesn't look so terrible. They're the really dangerous ones. Too bad. Okay, turn around. Mm -hmm. Where's Gladys? What did you do with her? Let me speak to him. Where is Gladys? Gladys? <laughs> no idea. I don't know the young lady, unfortunately. We just got here, down on the lagoon. You see, Georgia? Where we were swimming. And that's where Gladys disappeared. On the lagoon? Ah! <laughs> don't laugh. You'll be sorry about that. Oh, I don't know. Just look at what's coming down the path. <laughs> Gladys! Oh, oh Gladys! Oh, Gladys! Oh, Gladys! Look, you discovered yourself here, Kate. Where were you? My friend Bob. We work together for Professor Green. Well, he's a big uranium research man. I met him before in the reeds. A researching researcher. Then you had better luck than I. I was nearly shot. I bet. That is, if the revolver had been loaded. <laughs> <laughs> and you? You here on a summer vacation? Hmm, fine summer vacation. If we hadn't found this island, we wouldn't be here to tell the story. We crashed on our way to Singapore. Ah, then you're the American dance troupe that got lost. Yes. Well, how do you know that? Well, all the newspapers in the world have carried your story. Yeah. What? I'll bet Professor Green was surprised when all these girls showed up. Aha. Professor Green is dead. What's with the professor? Dead? What? He was hanging in a huge spider web. That's how we found him. Mm -hmm. Linda is dead, and Gary, our manager, has also disappeared. Spider web? Do you really believe that? By the way, our ship is coming back in two days. We must radio information right away so that they can send an agent to clear the matter up. You mean it? A ship's coming by? Our expedition ship. Then it will take us with it? Yeah, of course. We're oh, rescued. Yeah. Wow. Oh, 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 Look, isn't this pretty? The boys uh, will be surprised when they see how we've dressed ourselves up in our island costumes. <laughs> <laughs> and they promised us real whiskey, kids. I can hardly wait. Hold this. Shall I put this in my hair? You look great, just like a real islander. <laughs> well, I am. Haven't I been here for four weeks? I can't believe that we'll be back in New York in a couple of days. When we tell them at home what has happened to us, nobody's going to believe us. Where are George and Ann? Outside on the veranda. They're out there with Joe, trying to make radio contact with the expedition ship. I wonder if a lot of reporters will be on board when we get there. Hope so. Uh-huh. What's important for me is that Jimmy's there. Who is Jimmy? My friend, we're going to be married. What if he's got eyes for another? You don't believe that yourself. I'd scratch his eyes out. And he knows it. Oh, kids, we made radio contact with the ship and we'll be picked up tomorrow. And tonight we'll dance and really raise the room. <laughs>
tell me, what kind of a girl is Anne? I'm usually quiet and one of the nicest. She's away from home for the first time. Her folks live in Minnesota. I've never seen her so relaxed. I'd like to dance with her. Mm -hmm. How about the house? Not in the house. Some place where we'll be all alone. You know what? We'll meet at the lagoon. Okay. But so that no one will notice. Good. We'll meet in 15 minutes on the trail down to the water. All set? Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but be on time. I hate waiting. with the chicks? Shut your mouth. Falling for her? so quiet. You know, when you've lived on islands for a long time, you forget how to say nice things to girls. Well, try it once. Well, I'm really glad that your airplane crashed. Well, that's a nice thing to say. I mean, I mean, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten to know you. And, and I'm glad about that. Oh, you say that to everybody. No, Anne. I don't know any girls. When I think of the ones I do, I'd rather work. Well, I must say, you certainly are a master at paying compliments. Perhaps you're... Perhaps you're right. I should pay more attention to young women. Sometimes I envy Bob. He's so uninhibited and carefree. Bob, any girl is good enough for him. A real man is interested in only one girl. Then I'm a... Uh... That I'm a real man. How? Oh. Because I'm really interested only in one girl. Who's that? What does she look like? Cute? Elegant? Elegant? Mm, on the contrary. A little bit disheveled and neglected, but uh, very pretty. <laughs> Her name's Anne. Oh, Joe. That's one of the nicest things that's ever been said to me. Well, I meant it. I'm really fond of you. You know, when you leave for New York, here, so you won't forget me too quickly. But, Joe, please don't let me wait too long. Come on, I got 12 minutes left. What's in 12 minutes? My next rendezvous. Um. Mm. Hello, big boy. Well, I'll be darned. That's not bad either. Hey, all right. You really don't know where to start here. Thank you. 
Let it. Oh, you're here. What's on your mind, huh? Nothing. In love? Mm-hmm. And you really think that Bobby's the right man for you? <laughs> I don't know. I only know one thing. I love him. Hmm, I hope he doesn't let you down. I'd be very sorry for you. Hello, Daddy-o. How about throwing those lamps on somebody else for a change? Yeah, baby. Like you swing, too. Come on, Gladys. It's not worth it. Don't bother me. Hey, Georgia, give me a drink, too. All right. Thanks. Bobby. Yeah? Do you have to turn all the girls' heads? Who, me? They turn mine. Hmm. Hi, Georgia. Hi. That dance sure made me thirsty. <laughs> Georgia, aren't you at all excited about going home soon? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's drink to that. Yes. Well, here's to the trip. Cheers. Cheers. Do you think people are still talking about us? Of course. Now all the more, since we found you. Will the papers print our story? Oh, baby. Will the papers print your story? The magazines will carry your pictures. And what do you think radio and TV will do with you? You'll be amazed at the reception you get back in New York. Maybe they'll drive us down Broadway with confetti and all. Hmm. In any case, you become a world-famous troupe, and hmm, who knows? Maybe you'll wind up in Hollywood. Oh, Bobby. I might make it yet. Thank goodness I still have a few minutes left. Because my next rendezvous is very important. And this time, who's the lucky one? If you won't tell anyone, Gladys. Bobby. Hmm? Gladys is a fine girl. Up until now, she's been shy of men. Please, leave her alone. Exactly. I've always yearned for a girl like this. Never found one. Why am I telling you all this anyway? Oh, Joe. I'm so happy. Well, that's what I expected. Same old story. You're nice to a man, and before you know it, he's getting thrashed. <laughs> Anne, I must tell you something right away. Come on. Hey, Anne. Let her on. They're all good for nothing. They're all the same. Come on, let's have a drink. Gladys is just as I told you earlier. Oh, don't you see that Bob is just the kind of man who wants nothing else and play around with women without a single serious thought in his head? You're right. I don't want to see him again. Gladys. Look, Bob. You can keep those remarks about Anne to yourself. Get it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you're serious, fella. You haven't fallen for that little broad by any chance. Well, good luck, then. And what if I were? Then I'd feel sorry for you. What are dancers? Hot goods for cold nights. Or do you think your Anne is different? Hmm? For a guy like you, the worst girl in the world is too good.
I gotta run. I got a date. Okay. Kid, have you gone crazy? You ask me that? No man in this world, even if he belonged to your best friend, would be safe with you around. Are you talking about Bobby? Who else? But you can keep him. I'm through with him. I've got news for you. Bobby just made it clear to me that you're the kind of girl that he's been looking for. Do you mean that, Babs? If it weren't true, do you think I'd leave him? Go to him. He's waiting for you. That was a, a scream. They sounded like Gladys. And Bobby's also gone. I'll look for them. You get dressed and follow me.
so I'll go back and get the ammunition. Quick! Found Bob, dead. Was he strangled? Where are the bullets? Oh. It's too late. He's here. over there. Right. Two go through the bushes. The rest of you come with me. Nobody should go alone. Always go in pairs. Come on.
The quicksand starts here. Thank you. 